We're in the uh, the goat section now, the Northwest Hall. But about those perks uh, for the veterans, it, as it is Veteran Appreciation Day, if you have your military ID, you can get a free milkshake at the stands for veterans and uh, current current serving military. They also had a luncheon for vets, and we uh, met somebody who's honoring veterans at the farm show all week long. At the farm show marketplace, you'd expect to see leather workers selling belts, artists selling caricatures, and dog lovers selling dog treats. They're so shocked that they, they don't believe their own eyes. But at the military fabric stand, people may not expect to find him. Wes Bly had work behind his sewing machine. I said to my wife, I'm going to start making blankets, and she's like, no, you're not. That's crazy. But he's doing it, and he's good at it. Are you going to be here a while? I could make you one. Wes learned to sew when he was a kid from his grandmother, a World War II nurse. And he kept at it even when he was serving in the Navy in Iraq. I remembered my grandma making blankets out of jeans, and I thought, if I ever get out of here, I'd like to make a blanket out of soldiers' uniforms. Now a sheet metal mechanic with the Air National Guard in Middletown, he's earned the reputation of being the CB sewer. Soldiers, sailors, Marines, they all give Wes their old uniforms for him to transform into blankets, pillows, even baby bibs. This helps immensely. That's, that's why I do this. But aside from being a business now, the sewing is therapy for Wes, who suffered from PTSD when he came home. You're always like on this heightened sense of, you know, on the edge. And this, like a sound of a humming sewing machine is just like, mm, like this constant soothing. So it really helps me like calms me down. So stitch by stitch, he's honoring other service while centering himself and sewing together a tribute. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. You. you too. And back live here in the Northwest Hall with a couple of boar goats. <laughs> you know, I've, I've learned so much over the years uh, covering the farm show. One thing that always sticks with me is that the unusual eating habits and the unusual snacks that some animals have. Uh, one year we met a pig that was eating cake mix. But these goats, Violet and Dolly, their preferred snack, graham crackers. So let's see. Hey, Dolly, would you like a graham cracker, Dolly? Dolly, Dolly, there you go. There you go. Oh, I'll just put it in there. Uh, save a snack for later. But we were told that they like the graham crackers. They don't like the expensive goat snacks. So they just stick with uh, graham crackers because who doesn't like to turn down a graham cracker, right? <laughs> so we always learn a lot here.